I wanted to write a love story, not a war story. You know that the. I think, in the end, we um, we're creatures of hope. You know, but without hope, then we, we we're dead. You know, and hope may be the cruelest of torments, but it is it is what drives us every day, and. Um, Love really is the most beautiful expression of hope. And I think if you want to write about things that are dark and terrible, you can create a really destructive lie if you don't allow for hope. Because even in the, the, the worst situations, people still hope. So if I was going to write about the prisoner of war experience, in the end, it had to be a love story to be true to life. And the love story was what animated me and what was important to me because to me that is the essence and, 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 and the highest form of what we are. So I, I think and what happens with a love story is that we all know that the, the truth of love is that we, we discover eternity in a moment that dies immediately afterwards. So love stories always need death to make that point. And war stories are the great stories of death. So, so war illuminates love, but equally love, um, love doesn't redeem war, but it, it shines this necessary light at the dark chaos at the centre of things. I, I wanted to write a novel about the many forms of love and about what love is, because uh, love isn't, we have this idea that love is um, a moral force, that it's a force for goodness, but it's often a force for destruction. It often brings great misery to us. Um, and we, we are captive to many different forms of love. You know, th there's not one love I in our lives. There's familial love, there's erotic love, there's um, camaraderie love, um, and all these are very powerful forces within us, but often they conflict, and often they conflict in ways that we can't reconcile. And that's what it is to be human. And I didn't want to have a love story that just pretended there was only one love, and that was the highest form of love, and that highest form of love was a good. I wanted to say that um, we are creatures of love, um, but that can also be a form of hell as much as it is also a form of heaven. So that's, that was why the story begins with an erotic love, or the novel begins with an erotic love story, but it ends um, with a story of family love and also a, a, a love of just fellow human beings. Um, I, I mean, the older I get, um, the less I understand about love. It's not that I have any great knowledge of it, but it does seem to be, um, if it's not enough in this life, it's also all that we have. And, and when I wrote the book, the book actually began one day when I was here in Sydney in 2001 and I walked across um, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which I always love doing because it's so beautiful in the late afternoon. And as I was walking, I remembered this story that my parents were fond of uh, about this Latvian man who lived in the little town where I was born in Tasmania called Longford. And he, he'd been caught up in those great and terrible movements that affected Eastern Europeans during World War II and um, got swept away from his village. And when he got back to his village at war's end, it was to discover the village raised and his wife, he was told, um, dead. And he refused to believe this, but he couldn't find her. And he searched that, that apocalyptic world of Eastern Europe for the next two years, trying to find her, the displaced persons camps, the Red Cross centres and so on. And he couldn't find her. And in the end, he had to accept that she was in fact dead. He immigrated to Australia, ended up living in Longford. and. He married an Australian woman and had a family. And then in 1957, he came here to Sydney and he was walking down this crowded street and he saw walking towards him his Latvian wife with a child on either hand. And at that point, 
he knew he had to decide whether he would acknowledge her or he would uh, walk on. So I always thought that was the most beautiful story about love I knew, the, the, the pain of it, the costs of it, what it demands of you. And um, as I was walking across that bridge, I had this sort of this image of a, a man who was an ex-POW many years after the war seeing a woman who was the love of his life who he thought dead walking towards him and he's faced with the same conundrum, will he, will he acknowledge her or will he walk on? And I rushed back to the rocks and found a pub and I wrote that chapter up on beer coasters with a pen I got off the the barman and that's and I kept those beer coasters for years and the, I, I wrote this novel in five different forms and none of them worked and then I got those beer coasters out and I wrote wrote the chapter up and that's where the final form of the novel began with that love story. <laughs>